What's going on everybody, Long Gemini here, and I'm bringing you my solo attempts at doing Pop Goes the Weasel for Mob of the Dead. Now, just before anybody says anything, this is legitimate gameplay, I am not hacking, trolling, or doing any kind of stupid shit like that. I never post videos like that on my channel, everything I post is real, gameplay that I do on the real game, nothing weird going on. So I was playing the other night and I completed the cycle and I came back and I noticed the numbers were cycling or doing their, you know, freaking out in the spiral staircase. So I said, you know, what the hell, I'll try to see if I can complete it on solo. Um, now, I don't think that you're going to be able to do it on solo. Um, I'll probably give it another shot because I know that NGT posted a video that he tried to complete the Easter egg with a couple of players and it glitched out on him to where he couldn't get on the plane. Um, in the very last step and that's pretty much what happened to me the other night when I was doing this solo So maybe I was thinking it might have glitched out But just to kind of spoil the video. I was not able to complete it because Once I collected all the audio pickups I was not it would not allow me to get on the plane in afterlife mode Because when you do that last step, you don't even have to press any buttons to get on the plane It automatically puts you up there so it would not put me on the plane. Now, thankfully in solo mode you get multiple afterlifes because I was not going to finish those numbers and I didn't feel like going down um, on something stupid like that when I had gotten this far. Um, but anyway, so I entered in the numbers, like I said, and I was able to pick up all the audio drops, so I'll let you listen to all of that um, once I entered in this last number in afterlife. Um, and you will see me, I will be talking again after the audio clips. My name is Stanley Ferguson. I was a guard at Alcatraz from 1933 to 1942. Today, I'm going to give you some insight into one of the more interesting tales of the prison's history. Over the decades, Alcatraz has seen more than its fair share of daring escape attempts. However, few were as audacious as the one undertaken by four inmates on New Year's Eve, 1933. Thought to be the brainchild of an inmate by the name of Albert Arlington, the outrageous scheme was as unlikely as its mastermind. that Arlington, a.k.a. the Weasel, somehow convinced three other inmates that he had devised a foolproof plan to escape the rock. It was a plan that would see them literally taking to the skies on a makeshift aircraft of Arlington's own design. Just how the Weasel managed to convince these hardened criminals that such a plan was even possible remains a mystery to this day. What is known that no such plane was ever built. Instead, the group's plans for freedom soon descended into bitter argument and infighting. With the plan falling apart, anger and frustration would ultimately lead to a brutal altercation between the misguided Arlington and his former co-conspirators. Shift weapons. Finn O'Leary, Sal DeLuca, and Billy Hansen lured the unsuspecting Arlington to the roof, where they intended to exact a bloody and violent revenge. And so it was here, beneath the dark and stormy winter skies, that the hapless Arlington met his grisly end, bleeding to death on the cold concrete roof. For their participation in the murder, the three collaborators were sent to death by electric chair. Justice came swiftly. On the morning of January 19, 1934, the execution order was carried out. Okay, so the reason the plane is not there is because I had just come back from the Golden Gate Bridge and I just noticed the number cycling, so, you know, it was the very same round I came back. 
So as you see, I, you know, kind of forwarded to the next round where I'm picking up all of the gas cans and I'm going to fuel the plane again. And well, this is the last step. You go into afterlife mode and you get on the plane. Now, like I said, it would not allow me to get on the plane. I, you know, was pressing every single button, trying to jump on the plane, all that kind of Come shit. On, it just up. would not let me on. Um, so kind of while you're watching that, what I decided to do is still take the plane to the bridge and see what happened. The little pause you just saw was because, you know, I pressed pause and then did the video and blah, blah, blah. So, like I said, this is legitimate gameplay. I'm not trolling you. This has not been, you know, edited in any way to manipulate the gameplay um, other than just fast forwarding through all the boring parts of picking up the gas cans and, you know, the rounds and shit. So. Anyway, this is my attempts at doing the Easter egg on Solo. Um, like I said, I was not able to accomplish it, but maybe it glitched out. Um, here I go trying to get on the plane, and it's just not letting me do it. My afterlife is counting down, but the afterlife does not stop counting down until you get onto the plane, so that was completely normal. So I'm not sure what happened. Um, they did just have an update, I believe, last night. Um, I believe that was the 22nd of April was the update. Uh, kind of like the first update from Mob of the Dead, but I'm not really sure. Um, maybe it glitched, maybe it didn't, but so far you are not able to do Pop Goes the Weasel on Solo. So, this is what I got for you guys. <laughs> if you would like, um, I included a couple rounds after I play because I went down on the bridge and it was just kind of stupid but uh anyway this is what i'm bringing you guys um i hope this helped you out if you were trying to figure out if you could do this in solo unfortunately you could not um if you are going to try to do this in solo i would suggest getting the golden spork it will help you out um and that's one of the reasons why i go down because i derped and did not use my knife was standing on the gondola and just let the zombie just <laughs> bitch slap me it was kind of stupid uh, but anyway, oh, and interesting, when I do die at the very end, and you'll notice, it was weird. It would not end the game when I ran out of afterlifes, and even after I died, it would not end the game. I had to, you know, press start and go to leave game itself. Um, it would not, like I said, it would not end the game at all. So I'm thinking it probably glitched out. That's why I'm probably going to try this again. Um, and when your characters die in Call Mob of the Dead, I almost said Call of the Dead, Mob of the Dead, um, they do have audio quotes, but I've heard that in multiplayer too, where you got all four people, so I don't think that's any different than anything. So, um, anyway, guys, kind of reporting in on the Mob of the Dead, just trying shit out and seeing what's going on with the Easter eggs. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this helped you out and enjoy me going down on the bridge. Start it up. Anyway, guys, Start it up. as always, it's been Lone Gemini, and until next time. It's working. It's actually fucking working. Strange fucking storm. Ah! How do we get out of here?
for mercy? Sure, this is okay to drink, Weasel. Something's coming. Something 
Is he like the fucking boss of the dead or something? the worst that can happen. Keep on them! Don't let that fucker get close! Religion is our 